raining ooze. Michael pushed me out of the way. I think I've lost count of the number of times he's saved me now. I don't know what happened to him back there, but I have to press on. I have to find that crystal. I know he'd want me to. This place isn't like anywhere else I've been. Those at least felt like they could exist in reality, but this is different. A strange sky dotted with these creepy black orbs, dripping ooze and all sorts of random junk. I have no idea where this is, but I do know the crystal's here somewhere. I can sense it. Let's end this, Rosemary. That was a zoom straight out of Evil Dead, if I've ever seen one. Possibly. Michael? Are you there? No, it could be Raimi-esque. Could be Raimi-esque. Very Raimi, actually. Rose, look out! He... He saved me. But he didn't make it. That voice... My dad's voice. Is Michael... My dad? The revelation... Oh, no. That I found out... Literally the first time Michael started speaking in text. Because of you him. mean my dad has a bunch of particle effects? <laughs> He's going. next gen! I have to find that crystal. You know, unfortunately, after this, Ethan went on to be a part of Forspoken, and you know what? He could do a lot better. I'm on my own. And I, I really but thought I that he shined in a overall lackluster production. I think he was the true star of the show. I think I saw him in the recent trailer for Final Fantasy 16, so if anything, he's getting good work. You know, uh, I saw him in one of his earliest roles. He was the uh, particle effects in the loading screen in the PS3 version of Last of Us 1. Dude! Yeah. He's been here for a while, it's, actually. It's a, it's a deep cut, though. Yeah. All right, this is the grand finale. There actually is a legitimate explanation as to why so Evelyn is here, here, why Ethan is a bunch of particle effects, and also the fact that he's here in the first place. We're using assets as cheaper. A story-wise, for we're using assets as cheaper, you see. Yeah, so we have a lot of things that have fallen through the stratums, and we're now at the deepest stratum. Your psyche has gone through some budgetary cuts. Where the hell is Album am cover! I? Okay! What is this? That's new! Yep. That's cool! I like ye. There's some really good imagery here in the ending, so if you remember uh, Chris's section coming down to the uh, middle of the village, this is really good. It's like a black metal cover album. Exactly. I love the blurring out of the blotting out of the moon with mold essentially. It's good stuff. It's this it's the perfect sphere and the pouring of inky blood or whatever that is. What? Wait, I get it. That's uh, her that, that's her persona walking away, right? She's gonna say, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you, and she's, she's gonna go, no, you're not, and then, and then she turns into a big blob monster or something Any, like that. Anyway, it's the shadows of Rose. Because she is a shadow, the true self. I am the true self. <laughs> but it seems like she's beckoning us that way. Unfortunately, all the other Rosemarys that got this far turned zombified after getting their face sucked off. So now you get to uh, attack them. All right, we've definitely walked into Bloodborne now. A little bit. That's okay. Like, though. there's even lore around them. Like, seriously. I love this part. In fact, like, only after I played through for practice for the LP did I actually stop and look at the text files. Really understood what they said. It all comes together very cohesively. Oh, she's got a dark aura around her. What does this mean? It means that she's evil. Oh! Or it means that we're evil. Do I shoot oh, it? Oh no! <laughs> do, do I shoot it? Do I use my wibbly wobbly? Ah! You, you, you do use the shooty thing. Uh, this part is actually deceptively hard, especially ah! especially in hardcore. This takes a long time to break, and if you just sit there and do this instead of actually taking care of the girls behind you, you will get got. And hardcore, you take you know double damage, so you're going from. You'll find you'll get hyper 
But uh, yeah, that's it. We're out of the village. Hey. I need to find that crystal. Still gotta find that crystal. We're almost there, Rosemary. Don't worry. You sound like an addict. G gotta find that crystal. You gotta get the crystal. Gotta get that crystal. Uh, she's still. I mean, she's not innocent anymore because of all these this string of nightmares. But you know, I, I doubt Chris is letting her jump into the into the crystal meth. Nope, just a contra final boss. That's all. Oh hey, other uh, rosemaries. <laughs> this is basically the brain of the Mega Mycete. This is how you were born, Rosemary. So you're gonna get a lot of stuff thrown at you. So allow me to summarize. Everything that we've been seeing are memories of the mold in the Megamycete. Anything that has been touched by the mold or anything that was created by the mold is essentially saved here in the brain. Which means anybody connected to the mold would show up here. This is why Evelyn was here. This is why Ethan is here. Why is Duke here, then? Acting very non-Duke-like. You're actually going to see it here in a bit. Oh. But somebody... The plot continues to thicken. Yeah, somebody has been here for a while recreating Rosemary's, basically saying if one Rose can actually get to the crystal, that's the perfect vessel. Who could that be? So the consciousness is stored and preserved, and over time it becomes diffused and diluted. It's spread thin and mixed with other consciousness. So, what happens if you get one that has a, a really good consciousness? The perfect vessel. Hmm. So, goody goody. Who wrote all this? Well, you're you're going to find out here soon. Don't worry. It was us. Oh. We're going to duplicate Rosemary to find the perfect replica. There is an interference, however. So all the other roses have been living dolls. Not good enough. But uh, one of these texts was written when Rose entered the Megamycete. So, the plan has shifted a little bit. And I think my first creation, the Masked Duke, is the one to perform this stress test. So he's a living doll too! Aren't I just a doll though? He was created for the sole purpose of torturing other Rosemary's. <laughs> to find one that was suitable. And what was the scientific purpose for this uh, creation? Hmm. Well. But there's one thing that wasn't planned on, and that's the fact that Evelyn was still here. Hmm. So Evelyn kind of kind of ruined the plan, or at least put a, a wrench into it. So things had to be adjusted. And that's why Evelyn is here. She's still connected to the mold. And this is something that has not happened ever in any of my playthroughs of Village, having too much stuff. First thing I thought said that your memory was full. <laughs> <laughs> Series X just keels over dead. See, I, I'm so used to seeing not enough space, I'm thinking, oh no. Oh boy, here we go. Time to clear out the, the old uh, hard drive again. You want to collect as many of these sprigs of white sage as you can. They are going to be extremely helpful in this final boss fight. Ran out of materials too, this kind of sucks. Uh oh. So, th that was your quick and dirty explanation on why Evil Duke is here, why Evelyn is here, why Ethan's here. It's all memories of the mold. It's a memory soup of the metamycete and the last fracture that we're in right now. Correct. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. Hey, we're getting close to the crystal. Braver, faster, stronger. So, so close. close. Michael. Meta my seed, meta my seed, meta my seed, meta my seed. Yeah, so uh, that was left by one of the Rosemaries uh, who got the closest. So darn close, but didn't make it. It's through here. Okay. What so if the devs please. were arguing about how close to put that piece of paper? 
Like, like, I, like right before the door, or like right inside, or like right out here, or like. I uh, hope I hope it warranted at least two separate conversations. Yeah. No, it's got to be like right there. No, no, no. That's too. That's too close in. It's like, too close in. Like, Come on. W- like for one half day during development, two devs are like, "Hey, wait, wait, yeah." Hmm. Shift it just a little bit. Do you think it'll do anything? I, it might. They had to talk with story advisors, and they're like, where, where should we put the... I... Yeah, there's fine. Yeah, sure. sure. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. <sighs> so you can tell this is the crystal because it... is. It's got the particles on it. It's got the... Well... It does feel like Forspoken when I hold on to it. It is actually reacting, so we know it's the real deal. It's working. My track marks are fading. Alright, so the crystal is actually removing the mold. Awesome! Oh, now I can't breathe anymore, and my heart's oh my kind God. of, like, stopping. Oh dear. Is this what normal feels like? Motor functions failing. Memories fading, eyesight. How much did I rely on the mold? <laughs> Rose, you are. <laughs> the exact face, yes. I feel like that she expected more of a reaction from that, you know. <laughs> My name is Miranda. Hey. Surprise! So, so this is actually really cool. You would become uh, this so uh, was Miranda's plan from the beginning. Far too powerful for me. Basically, Rose was so powerful she had to essentially find a way to, to ro- for Rose world. to give up her powers so willingly, willingly and make her the true vessel. No, but Kay said, "Did he, or did I?" <sighs> that Kay was an illusion. Huh? Very convincing. Wouldn't so I believe it? because Miranda still so has a little bit of hold on the mold, the she was able to create to an illusion Eva. because Rose is also connected to the mold. Maybe she was really talking to Kay. Run! Run! Oh, whoa! Super dead! Michael! Ethan, you pest! Go! <sighs> Stop him, but he can manifest. He can save you, Rose! No one can. What was that last part? Rose! I love this part. Look at him! Whoa! Look at him go! Go, Dad, go! So you're getting a little bit of Super Dad. Yes! I love this part! It's so short, but so great! Wait, hold up! Is it really you? Yes, but right now you need to run! Run! Boom! Go! Yeah! He does have the dad haircut from this angle. I know, it's great. Rose! You stupid kid, are you fucking... God, this is what you grew up into? Didn't I raise you better? Uh, Don't answer uh, that! <laughs> Thanks. Why didn't you tell me who you really were? Why'd you let me call you Michael? Dad's lie all the time, sweetheart. I want to complicate things. Well, I was about I to say, why, to why say... would you... Why would he bring in the the confusing fact that your dad is now text? So I totally sorry understand I it. Left you, alone. you ever but heard of text to speech? To well, we got text to dad. Yes. And I did. It's just ahead. This is only a free trial. Rose! You gotta pay fifteen ninety nine a month if you want the full version of Uh-oh. text to dad. Ah! <laughs> okay, here we go. Best part. <laughs> Get away from my oh. daughter! Stay away from my family! Rose, Woo. come on! Yeah! Go towards the light, Rose! Ah. Damn it! Stop it! Stop with your grabby fucking hands! Ethan! Persistence is you have a relative that just grabs on you like that, Rose, use their bony fingers like, you know, grab on your shoulder ah! like that, just, yeah. Make friends. I hated that. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... 
Rose, just go! Still protecting his daughter, even though it's kind of hopeless. Do I need to tear out your heart again? I love you, but I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! We got this. Get out of here. Well, I guess they took his spleen this time. You missed all of my major organs. All of them? But no, she ain't having any of that. Yeah! Huh? Shatter the crystal and get the powers back in... Uh, I'll be honest, a really cool effect. Now I am the particle effects. Don't worry, Dad. I've got this! You okay, now for a fight against Mother Miranda. Against I'd love to see this in, in, uh, in uh, nightmare mode. Foolish. It's like, don't worry, Dad. I've got this. Immediately die in one hit. Yep. Uh, so, Rose has actually acquired a couple new powers thanks to reabsorbing the mold. She now has a quick dodge. She can get good! You can also use the mold to your advantage and hit Miranda with the giant tentacles. She can't be hurt until she is either pacified or hit with one of the molds, so she kind of has a lot of nut damage for a while. One thing that really pissed me off about this, and I swear it was updated in a patch. When I got to this point, it took me 30 to 40 minutes to beat Mother Miranda, and I already hated the initial boss fight. The hints telling you that you have brand new powers never showed up on my first playthrough. So I had no idea you had these special powers. And only after watching a speed run did I realize, oh, this fight's actually really piss easy because they give you extra powers. You can do it the old fashioned way by waiting for her to open up and then, you know, use your powers against her. Or you can do what the what these things are telling you. You can absorb her projectiles to get power back. Scoozy? Right here. Steal it. I've been waiting a long time for that. Yeah. Use the mold, hit her in the stupid face. You will knock her down back to your level. Those things can reach very high. I got a Village of, Di of Shadows difficulty playthrough that's been vindicated just now. Yeah. yeah for, I've, I've always had trouble with Miranda fights, and it's only been the first times I fought her. In the main game, the first time I fought her, the game broke. And it didn't let me finish, and I died at the yeah, end when you're not actually supposed to really die. O okay, so I loved it when Ocarina at the time did it, and I love it now. But uh, I think her wings are getting more tattered the more you damage her. A little bit. I love that effect. Oh, and she loses feathers yeah. and it gets more tattered. Oh, I love it! Mwah, it's more ragged! Oh, yes! I love that detail! Yeah, so uh, the reason I was so pissy about this this fight is because it happened again. Something I was supposed to do that was somewhat scripted didn't work properly the first time I did it, and I died and had to do this entire fight over again. Not good, not fun. I've... Mother Miranda sucks. <laughs> but it's a lot better now, now that I know what to actually do. Well, if they make a final boss that sucks, people will never want to see her again, so that we won't have the Albert Wesker problem. This part's cool. You know, because Wesker died in 5, and ever since then, every time there's a new Resident Evil game, you think Wesker could be in it? You think Wesker could be in it? So if they just have a shit ending, the shit boss, nobody will ever ask for Mother Miranda again. See, the thing is, Shadows of Rose actually raised my opinion of Village, because I wasn't the hottest on it when it first came out. But having another annoying final boss fight, almost the exact same one, kind of soured me on it <laughs> again. It was just like, wow, all of this was really cool, except for the ending. But now that I know that there are special powers that you can use, it got a whole lot better, so please use those to your advantage. One thing I will note, read those directions carefully. In order to quick dodge, you need to press left or right and press B to uh, to absorb these. You basically have to like quick dodge it or something like that and do it right at the opportune moment. Uh, those don't have the reach I thought they did, so unfortunately I missed. Yeah. Uh, another thing, you have to press forward in B to launch those tentacles, not just B. And that's what was kind of frustrating to me again, because I didn't read properly. You will. Boom. Well, it is kind of a lot to throw on you for the final boss fight. It is nice to, you know, have these awesome powers to fight a, a big demon lady. It's pretty neat. 
I enjoy it. Back to spider legs now. Up, up. She actually doesn't go for spider form here. I think it's mainly because it would be Don't extremely resist. difficult to do as Rose. So a little bit of mercy. This is... Ow. Yeah, see, that's why you can't do it a bit too early. You kind of have to time it correctly. Otherwise, it just doesn't work and you get hit. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Suck. This is also why I said uh, save your sprigs of white sage and your bunches of white sage. Uh, just so you can get it over with quicker. As soon as she gets back up, she is actually invulnerable until now. Do you still not see? And uh, when she gets back there up there, knock no her out of the sky. Says the wicked witch at the end of her reign. Oh! Got her! That bitch gonna melt! She did get something from Ethan. The fact that she's a smartass. I love it. Uh, this phase is pretty fun. This is where you get to use the quick dodge a little better. Only I understand how special you are. <laughs> Time to put the hell in bullet hell. Whee! There we go. That was easy. Damn it, foiled again. Ha <laughs> ha, wicked witch. You Why don't you go on your own you. yellow brick road? Time you to really throw my flying monkeys monkey at you. Wait, what? What? Oh, it worked. It shines inside. Yeah, so it's actually exceptionally hard to freeze her in place with the normal powers. You gotta use the tentacle. Otherwise, you'll be here forever. And mine. Slurp. Mine, slurp, and mine, slurp. And the best part is Miranda ha actually has a voice line because she's so baffled that you were able to absorb the <laughs> absorb the mold. It was great. This is the fourth time. How are you doing that? Stop it! Stop not dying. How about you start dying? Yeah, come on. Oh, we're close. We're close. It's getting there. I believe one more should do it, but unfortunately I think we're going to have to go through what I've deemed, like, shark phase first. <laughs> Ever thought about buying a car? Not that kind of shark. Nope. There oh, there we no go. Victory. So, ah! so uh, when this happens, prepare for Armageddon. Here it comes. What the butt? Yep, there we go. What the hell? Hang on. Um, questions. <laughs> <laughs> Goes into red moon phase. Over here. Dad! Oh, Dad, I know you now as I've always known you, close to death. Take her down. The power of next-gen particles. I already have that power, though. Well, now you well, have mine. Now you've got two. I mean, you've got a backup, right? Ugh. I grant you the power of stubbornness. Now you can't die. What if I want to die? Shut up, Rosemary. You shut up. I didn't save you for nothing. So, Return. this is awesome. I now your superpower! Me. Ha! Me! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, no! And this is a really good ending because use Rose's power so to defeat Miranda. Power. You basically you absorb her. Perfect. Get rid of her forever. Uh, I'm not a goddamn vessel. Not some stupid copy. I'm me! Rose, and you're done. It's kind of funny that she was here the whole time, but still not. I still love the idea that she was here the whole time and still failed, even after years, literal years of planning. Oh my God. Like her daughter was right there, too. Mm-hmm. You're, you're so grown up now. And you're so dead. I wasn't there with you. I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. And now you can't do that anymore. Not this time. Again. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. At least there's no darkening effect on Ethan's face anymore. He actually does have a face. I thought we were going to see his face by the end, but... Oh, let's keep the meme strong. No time for memes. This is a heartfelt goodbye between father and daughter. 
I'm okay. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Sorry, finger's still kind of twitchy I'm from so the bare. trauma. Still hurts. Still not used to these two fingers, still. Wow. I love you too, Dad. The fade to white. He goes calmly in the night. I'm back. No more nightmares? Hold on, let me pinch myself. Ah! Alright, we're back. Ah! Pain! The nightmare is real! Ah! I'm back. And we've essentially stolen the rest of the essence from the Megamyces sample. Well, I tried to get rid of my powers and my grief, and now I've come back with superpowers and even more grief. Dad. I love the detail that there's still the stitching in Ethan's right sleeve. Held together with something. I don't know how. That's all right. What a great story. <laughs> And she's wearing the ring that she just got at the end of the main game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, all the events of Shadows of Rose led to this. We will be able to touch the moon. Nobody to the exact same moon. reference to the RE engine. He has a rocket ship. Uh, okay, then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon. Oh, Wait, lady, bus fare, hey. This isn't a free bus. Passed by Albert Wesker, passed by Steve Carpenter. Passed by Leon Kennedy. What? Oh, that's the Resident Evil 2 hey, movie. Dad. Oh, there we go. Happy birthday. Well, I'd be really pissed if my epitaph wasn't capitalized. Sorry I missed last week. <laughs> I have a little E, little W. I saw you the know. I saw the episode uh, that this aired, and, uh, and uh, I was like, you know, his epitaph isn't capitalized. That's 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 weird. I I would not like that. Duty calls. I want to be honored with a with a good typeface. I love you. I never even noticed. You done my dad dirty. But now we have a little bit of extra backstory as to why she's, you know, being followed by government agents. She is even more powerful than predicted. You're needed. And now this makes more sense. Correct. We now have context. Ever call me that again? She actually knows who Evelyn is now and knows she was a rotten bitch. Things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Correct, because she got more powers from Ethan. Stand it's all connected. It all works. We have a clear shot. No, not for guns. For the for the camera, to, so we can cancel her on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this crazy girl attacking this harmless government agent. Go for her Instagram. Watch the zoom. Watch the zoom. Focus. Focus. God, got her. Yes. Whew. Go home, boys. That bitch is going down. God, this was a lot easier than you know getting a gun. Just ruin her on social media. Think smarter, not harder. And this scene also makes more sense because if she has the complete essence of the mold, she has the memories of everyone who was involved with it, including Ethan Winters. Hi, Dad. Yeah, they drive by. She goes, Dad? And he goes, uh, hides his face. Um... <laughs> You do have a face! I, I mean, I wanted to just say, it, I, it, it was a really touching thing. I didn't want to cheapen it. it yeah, it's, it's, right. It's, how, how are you doing, kiddo? Hey! <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, All right, so what'd you think? Uh, that was really good. Uh, I've, held, I've held this theory that not only are we, are, is Resident Evil always a homage to horror films and the horror genre in particular, but we're in the middle of a, a horror renaissance where it's not just big scares and gore to get you going. It's all based in emotions and feelings and and like a very very humanist kind of feel to it and uh, that's why most horror makes you cry now because of how touching it can be yeah. 
I mean, I mean you've, you've seen both It movies, right? Yeah. I have laughed, I have cried, I have screamed, I have felt visibly uncomfortable at those movies. That's what horror is. It's an emotional, it's an emotional ride. And I'm glad that this kind of takes from that. There's a lot of moments in this DLC that felt like it was taken directly from some test footage of some horror film they were making. Yeah, and it, it's it's so so jarring when Capcom makes a game versus when they make a film. Mm -hmm. Because those films go all out absolutely crazy sauce. When they make a game, they can get people to stop playing because of how terrifying it can be. So I guess it just depends on what kind of mood they're in. Uh, Shadows of Rose, again, elevated it for me, you know, except for the final boss, but I didn't think you could duplicate the horror of the dollhouse, but they gone done and did it. On a smaller scale, mind you, but goddamn, that was good. It was it was similar, but it was new, and it was different, and it was unique to Rose, and it was quite good. Yeah, and also a uh, round of applause to the audience of Resident Evil Village for choosing this scenario instead of another not a hero. So that means we have closed the book to the winter story. That's finished. Ha uh, yeah, sure. Because it's the village of shadows. We've closed the village of shadows. We now know what happens to the girl in the mirror. Which means, with all of that done, Resident Evil 9 has a, a jumping off point. Because we still have to deal with the connections in this trilogy, so to speak. 7, 8, 9. But who knows if that's actually where they're going to go to. Maybe they'll just drop the entire thing. Who knows? We literally know nothing. Maybe so, it'll just be an online spinoff, and then we'll yeah. pick up Resident 9 somewhere else distant off in the future. Yeah, and from the recent trailer of Resident Evil Death Island, it seems they're trying to wrap up everything. So who knows if they're... I mean, obviously, there's going to be another Resident Evil game if the RE4 remakes anything to go by. But, yeah, they could literally go anywhere. They can do what they want. Close up a bunch of stories, bring in new characters... Whatever. Well, we're doing great with Resident Evil games so far. I mean, they haven't really missed it for a while. Woo! Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest miss they've had so far was Resi 3, and that's because it was just underwhelming. Yeah. Okay, so now that the entire story is finished, Shadows of Rose plus the main story of Village, next time we're doing bonuses... We are going to look at every single thing you unlock after the game in New Game Plus. Every. As well as everything you can unlock in the mini games that you can get from completing challenges and going to the extra content shop. We're nowhere near done, are we? I have four bonuses planned. We are going to look at all the unlockables as well as all the weapons. We are going to look at Village of Shadows, the hardest difficulty in the game. Hey. We will be looking at mercenaries. And we will also be looking... At the multiplayer that was included with Village? Our Everse. Resident Evil's Fortnite. It's gonna be weird. Hey, maybe we should uh, nix that and, and backpedal on that and maybe not do that. Maybe we should reverse that decision. You know, I'm kind of okay because it's kind of a dead game already. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. That's, that's, that's pretty sad. But uh, yeah, next time we'll deal with the bonuses and uh, yeah, we'll see you then. If it's too dead, we can always play a few rounds of, um, of Umbrella Core. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you can't you can't do that to me. It's scarier than anything in this game. <laughs>